Thanks. Yeah, I think uh, 
I don't think it's going to be that hard to adjust because it's just another building. It's going to be school, and we already went sports with them, so we're used to that. And uh, I don't know. I think we can compete with those guys in anything that we do. It's not like we're going to just be totally lost in the shuffle because, like, Havlock went over there, and, you know, they're successful in a lot of things. So I don't think it's going to be that bad. It's just going to be a different place to go to school. Do you think you'll be as close knit when you get over there as you were here? I don't know, probably with some of them, but some of them, your friends you probably won't be. What about friendship here? What's it been like? It's friends with everyone because you have to. There's so few people. It's, I don't think it's a big deal really anymore because it's going to happen. So, And I don't think that people over there are that smart or that good at anything that that I have to worry about any real competition, anything that I'm going to do. Because in wrestling, I know that I'm going to be one of the better ones over there. I know in academics, I'm going to be one of the smarter ones over there. And if I decide to go out for anything, <laughs> if I decide to go out for anything else, I'll probably be one of the better ones in that too. Aww. So, there you go, Dave. How do you know, Dave? Because everyone over there is dumb as a rock. Dave's completely lying about everything he just said. <laughs> No. Are you putting this out or is this for real? This is for real. <laughs> I mean, everybody that's here at Roth will still be over there too, so it's not like you're losing anybody. You're just gaining more friends, I think. You're gaining more friends. You might have separate a few, a few of your friends, some of the ones you're not always with or whatever, I suppose. You hold the don't want to stop it coming. So this is not a big change for you. Yeah. You're pretty used to change. Kinda. What are you looking forward to next fall? Graduating. <laughs> getting to a college. Getting out of this place, I suppose. It's, it's kind of small and boring. It's just hard to say what it's gonna be like till we get over there and uh, find out. You know. Cause there, there's a lot of nice people over pokey, and you know, I think we'll get along all right. I don't know. I think it's each individual how <clears throat> I don't know if they have confidence in themselves to, you know, like Marty said, we're all going over, so we're all gonna, still gonna be together. There'll just be more of us, more competition. Like here, there wasn't much of competition. There, you know, there were small classes, but. So where are you, where are you gonna be? Why don't you tell me where you'd like to be in 10 years from now? We'll start with Lisa Chittabashi. What are your dreams? I'd like to uh, be doing uh, something fun. <laughs> and, uh, have enough money, but I mean, I don't, I don't care if I'm really loaded, but it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, I just want to be doing something fun. I don't want to be doing something that I, I don't enjoy. Cause that would suck. I think. <laughs> well, in ten years, I think I don't know. Just basically making a lot of money. That's what I want to be doing. How you gonna make it? That I don't know yet. I'll find a way. <laughs> Be a pharmacist or something. I don't know. <laughs> Make stuff up. Are you gonna live around Ralph? I doubt it. Won't be in Ralph probably. Be here further. Probably not. <laughs> no. I'll go with the trend and say definitely not. No. I want to be. A, I want to be a doctor, and I want to be in a bigger spot, you know, like there's more people. So it'd be a bigger town than this, most definitely. So you all want to go to someplace bigger? Yeah. Yeah. Not going to see all. No. Bigger. Bigger. No pharmacists will live around. No children. I have to go to softball practice.
to do that is before school starts in the fall, because it's somewhat uh, But we also allow the first three days of school to make any schedule changes that you I think it's important. The classroom is something that, you know, we've got to go through. <coughs> Maybe that's the biggest reason we're here. Vice President. Yeah, he was the Vice President of the class of 1968. Vice President of the class of 1968? Yes, you know anything was. else about him? Uh, he just lettered in lots of sports. Do you follow after him in any way? No. <laughs> no. I look like him, sort of. And, well, not quite the athlete that he was, but I got more brains. Over there. Okay, what do you notice about that class? Anything? My dad is right up there. <laughs> Second row, fourth person from this end. I don't know where your dad is. My dad is right there. Oh, there he is. Right up there. And my aunt, his twin sister, is over there. His twin sister? Yes. Uh-huh. Anything you notice about in that class, how they're dressed differently? How would their senior pictures be different from yours? Their glasses have got to go. Their glasses have got to go? <laughs> they all have shirts and ties on. <laughs> their hairdos are Ours are color. What about their hairdos? Uh, they're the same. Where's she? Isn't your mom on here too? 65, yeah. Where is she? 65 is down here. 65. Yeah, that's my mom right there. She looks quite different now. Who's your mom? Joanne Gaskell. Joanne Gaskell. So, what do you think about the senior class? No. We're, We're awesome. Yeah, of course. We're the best. Awesome. We're cool. What do you think of the senior class? We're studs. <laughs> That about explains it. Yeah. It ain't in there. They ain't got it. Charles. Up there. But she is up in 1969. She graduated. Yeah. 1962. 62. 62. This is Eric Schluter. He had some memories. Uh, we. At one time, we had a VCR party. <laughs> <laughs> and then another time, we was in his car, and we was down an unapproved road. And, <laughs> and then last weekend, uh, we played Mario Brothers. <laughs> There's the bell. Bye.
together this afternoon, kind and gracious Lord, to acknowledge the accomplishments and the successes of your people. We thank you this afternoon, especially for our diligent teachers, for attentive administration, for effective parents and families, and for students that are eager and willing to learn and succeed. We would ask this afternoon that you bless those present so that each might see. Brett Curtis Stewart. Eric Eugene Sluter. Patricia Marie Dornan. Jerry Lee Young. Pamela Jean Page. Glenn Raymond Winters. Jason Daniel Allen. Philip John Shimon. Melody and Santa. Dennis Allen Struve. Sandra K. Kellen. Charles Stephen Jarvis. <coughs> 